So in my painting vacation, my friend is a tutor. She uh, lives in the Yorkshire area in England. And uh, upon arrival, uh, that day she had uh, another student at her house and she decided we should take it easy. I could go unpack and if I want to join them for painting, which I did. So this was uh, the setting that she had. As you can see, her other uh, student was across the table. She was painting the scene that she was viewing using watercolors. Uh, I like painting with acrylics, so I got my gear out, unpacked, and I came downstairs. So, uh, I, you know, first thing is, you know, find the viewpoint. I thought this was a very interesting viewpoint uh, of this coffee pot. And there's two lemons. One of them is in the shade behind the red bowl, and the other one is getting the light from one of the windows. So first thing is, you know, make a quick sketch. And basically, I think the most important thing in the sketches and when you paint, you select what you want to leave out. And I did not want to complicate the scene too much. I wanted to focus on the, uh, actually, the three primary color elements, which were the lemons, the red bowl, and the blue coffee pot. Uh, the orange uh, tablecloth gives an additional element that with the blue uh, is a very good color contrast. I, I did not want to uh, bother too much with the rest of the composition. So basically just position your large, large shapes uh, and you know if I think you should add the shadows in your sketch. I forgot to do that except on one of the lemons. So to make this into an acrylic paint, I used uh, the golden heavy body acrylics. I brought with me Indian yellow, alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue. Um, I don't think I used thalo blue for this one, uh, and titanium white. And I used uh, cotton canvas pads. This is a size 9 by 12. I actually had an easel, so my viewpoint was from uh, higher up instead of sitting down on the table and you know I really recommend when you travel you're going to be doing some plein air or you know in this case it's not plein air because it was indoors but it's you're painting real life you're not painting from a photograph uh, the canvas pads are very convenient they're easy to carry and if you paint with acrylics uh, they dry so quickly you can just close the pad and bring it back exactly as you brought it in you don't need any carrier or anything special so on a, on a first uh, sketch, I mean, you can see there I put the uh, photograph of what I was seeing, although I was not painting from a photograph, and uh, my sketch. And then uh, the first block in stage with the um, acrylic paints, uh, what you could see is I focused on having a very simple composition, and I worked with the concept of the three primary uh, the primary colors, as I mentioned to you. Uh, also, I did a little bit more of an organic, uh, not very straight lines, but more organic coffee pot. It, it's almost moving. I did not want to do it like I did in the sketch or as it is in real life, more straightforward. I wanted to focus on the quality of the reflections I was seeing from the window I had on my right, there was another window right across me. So we had two sources of light. Uh, but, you know, I did want to capture the idea of the different elements, how they were capturing the light. And the lemon in the shadow has a lot more green and a little crimson than the lemon that I had near me. However, the size of the lemons that I painted were wrong. Uh, the lemon on the right should have been bigger. Uh, in a final step, I just very quickly did the brush strokes to increase the size of that lemon. I also worked a little bit on the back end of the table and I'm still not convinced. I wanted to get it like a loose end, like almost you don't see where the table ends and when the wall begins. I think the composition is very simple and the focus should definitely be, be that uh, blue pot. On the lemon that's closer, uh, I did end up using a, just a tiny smudge of cadmium yellow to the alizarin crimson and titanium white. This was a fun 
way to start my vacation. Uh, and, you know, it's a great way to beat jet lag. And uh, it was a, a great way to get loose on the painting before we went out to have a wonderful 10 days of pa painting plein air.